Aloha, I'm Joshua Cooper, and welcome to Cooper Union, what's happening with human rights around our world on Think Tech Live, broadcasting from our downtown studio in Honolulu, Hawaii, and Moana Nui Akea. Today, we're looking at the UN Special Rapporteur on the Promotion of Truth, Justice, Reparation, and Guarantees of Non-Reoccurrence, looking at a visit recently to Scandinavia, focusing on the Sami people. Fabian, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. It's my great pleasure. Fabian, could you share with people who aren't familiar with the UN, what is a special rapporteur and how does that work? And is that part of the UN Human Rights Council special procedures? Well, the, 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 um, the UN uh, mechanisms uh, for promotion and uh, protect human rights are uh, divided in two great uh, big branches. So the, the, the first one is the treaty bodies. That means the, the, the bodies for monitoring the convention, created by the convention. No, the, 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 they, they are called committees. And the other branch is the uh, special procedures. Special procedures are working groups composed by five people or special reporters, like me, it's individual posts, uh, independent experts, uh, not not paid, and uh, with expertise in one particular topic. Uh, now the, there are more or less uh, sixty special procedures in the in the UN system, and my mandate is on transitional justice. Uh, yes, sir. excellent. And what's so exciting about the work that you do is. As a special rapporteur, you usually have a couple of roles. One is to write studies that then develop or share the evolving of international human rights norms. And the other is country visits. Could you share with us a bit about the most recent country visit? And then maybe we could also get into some of the thematic work that you've also been doing. Perfect. So, well, the, the mandate is how to deal with the past how to deal with the past, because the title of the mandate is Truth, Justice, Reparation, Warranties of Non-Recurrences, and, and, and I'm not the High Commissioner for Human Rights, so I'm not charged of all type of reparations or all, all kinds of, of, of seeking the truth. Uh, so it's for the transition from a dictatorship to the democracy, or exit from an armed conflict to the peace and state, stable, state, stable situation. Um, and uh, I decided to uh, introduce the possibility to apply the mandate to uh, the legacy of colonialism. So how the new situation is dealing with the past in terms of mechanism for seeking the truth, provide justice, establish reparation in, in the concept of full reparation for victims. I'm, I'm talking about a restitution, uh, economic compensation, psychosocial support, um, um, measures of satisfaction like apologies, for instance, uh, and uh, the adoption of law and practices for the non-repetition. The, the fifth pillar of the mandate that it was introduced uh, because I, I, I produced a report, a thematic report, is memory, memorialization processes. Um, and uh, yes, as, as you said, uh, we are charged of developing the, the international human rights law with with the thematic uh, reports and and particular studies. Um, we receive and uh, send communications to, to the governments, uh, expressing concerns about uh, different situations inside of the mandate, and one. Uh, important one relevant uh, task is the the country visit so we go to the field we visit the countries and we produce a report uh, after uh, many 
consultations, interviews with the stakeholders, and and uh, and uh, and that is the case of the last two visits I conduct, conducted to uh, Finland and uh, Sweden. So I had many interviews with the uh, governmental officers. Uh, uh, from different uh, departments and ministers, and and um, also with uh, NGOs, civil society, also with uh, victims and families of 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 of, of the victims, academia, uh, journalists, uh, and well, I, I presented as usual an uh, end of mission statement, um, one in each country. Uh, one in Finland and, and then in Sweden, and I will present the, the the full report of the of the visit for the two countries in the month of uh, September to the um, uh, UN Human Rights Council in in Geneva. So it is exciting to look at the situation of the Sami people. We know they're the indigenous peoples of Scandinavia in the Arctic Circle and beyond. Can you share some of your initial impressions of how Sami human rights are being denied and some of the recommendations maybe that you saw that could maybe improve the daily lives and have a positive impact on public policy as well as on the Sami people's desires. Sure, sure. I decided to to ask the three countries uh, for, for an official visit. So I, I asked uh, a visit to Norway to Finland and to Sweden. All three countries accepted the visit, but um, Norway did it in last time and uh, in last minute, so it was impossible for me to uh, arrange the agenda for uh, go to Norway also. So I guess the next visit uh, of the mandate will be on Norway to continue this this uh, examination because a Sami people is not based in just one country. It's, it's, it's also in Russia, in Russia. No, so you have you have it in a four in in, in a four country. Uh, but at least I I, I was in Finland, and uh, I was in in Sweden. I'm not the reporter on indigenous people, so that that's another special reporter. So so my my focus was in how uh, both states are dealing with the former policy of assimilation. So, so the, the both countries uh, um, uh, uh, had a, an express policy with the church uh, of uh, assimilation of the people. And, and the consequences today are, are painful. So for 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 the community, um, because um, of course the 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 culture and the, and the language of uh, of the Sami people is is in danger, is in danger for 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 different reasons, and also they are facing uh, a terrible situation with the, the with the discrimination and hate speech in both. In both both countries, and that that is one of the main concerns. Uh, as as you know, in in my previous life, I was a member of the Human Rights Committee, uh, and uh, the first country under examination when I arrived to the committee in two thousand nine was Sweden, and the committee expressed concerns about the Sami situation. In 2016, when I lead the committee, again, Sweden presented the report. I was chair of the committee in, the, in that time. And if you see the, the, the minutes, uh, the, they are public. I said, uh, expressed to the government the problem of the Sami population and the government took the, comp the, the engagement in uh, ratify the ILO Convention 169 no, on indigenous peoples, but they didn't. So the last week I, I, I highlighted this this particular situation, uh, and um, deeply 
because when we think in the countries uh, of the Scandinavian peninsula, we think in countries with a very high level in terms of human rights in general. No, that's that's the the, the general impression around the world, and and it's it's shocked to discover that uh, they did practically nothing in terms of uh, truth. They are just starting the process uh, with one truth uh, commission in Sweden and also in Finland. Um, they did not provide reparations at all. At all. The, just one apology from the church, from the Sweden church to, to the Sami population because they are working very close with the Sami population. I'm talking about the Lutheran church. Mm? Um, no compensation. And in terms of uh, non recurrence well, uh, I guess uh, the, this, both states are doing practically nothing against the hate speech and the the the, the discriminatory speech, uh, and, and, and that is a problem. Uh, also, there are some problems in terms of um, education. So, because they, they are, they are schools in in Sami language. I, I, I visited the the regions. I visited Inari in 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 Finland, and um, I was in Kiruna in 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 in, um, in Sweden. Uh, that were very interesting for me because I met the Sami people. I met this with the, the, the Sami Parliament in both in both uh, in both countries, and uh, I was in schools, uh, seeing how is working uh, uh, the education system in Sami language, and of course, the, both states are making progress, but. There are not enough teachers in in Sami language, and they, there is no a clear policy to strengthen the uh, education in 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 Sami language. In other in other um, aspects, uh, well, we 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 must recognize that there are some uh, progress, uh, especially in repatriation. Repatriation of uh, objects of the Sami uh, people, and uh, one very very important thing: uh, human remains in 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 both in both countries. Uh, um, um, and that that is a that is a good police that I I, I found in both in both uh, in both countries. But they are a enormous way. Uh, uh, to 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 go uh, yet. No, it's important to see your firsthand account and based on your visits, what you were able to recognize because the recommendations provide a path forward for reconciliation and also realization of rights. And I appreciate the holistic perspective of seeing your role as chair of the Human Rights Committee and seeing how those committee recommendations also contribute. And it's definitely important to bring up the International Labor Organization, the oldest UN specialized agency program and fund over 100 years old, and why that 169 important convention would actually add tools to be able to help the Sami people to realize their rights. All those aspects all build up really the case for social change in Scandinavia and looks at what could be possible. Could you maybe share a bit also, as you mentioned, the Sami parliaments, do you believe those are important institutions? And how do those actually promote and protect uh, Sami rights? And how do you think they could be part of the solution going forward with your mandate on transitional justice? Yeah, de de definitely both are, are, are important. It's, it, um, not uh, strong as should be. Unfortunately, because the, the the mandate of both parliaments are a little bit limited, but but any anyway, it's it's important to have a, a Sami parliament in 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 each country. I visited both uh, 
both uh, places. Uh, there is a place in, 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 in Finland and there is no particular place in Sweden but I met people, I met the president of, of the chair of the, of the Sami parliament in, 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 in Sweden. They are charged in, 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 in issues uh, of education, culture, etc. But both countries, they did not uh, adopt a law according to international standards to uh, pay attention to the Sami boys. Uh, that means, uh, yes, there are consultations, but, but the, the problem is which is the effect of the consultation. So the, 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 as you know, the standards is the prior and informed consent, and that is totally different than consultation. And uh, in Sweden in, in particular, there, there is a, a problem of balance of different interests. Now the industry of, of mines and tourism and, and other, uh, other industries. And, and um, well, my message to, to, the, to, the, to the government was, uh, yes, but one thing is interest, another thing is right. So you, you, you must to pay attention to the interest, fulfilling the rights of the, of the people. No, because it's it's not exactly the 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 same. So so the the, the situation is is delicate, but uh, there is an opportunity, and uh, it will be very very relevant. The job of the both truth commission. So the the recommendations of the commissions must be clear clear and and uh, and uh, i highlighted the, the 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 importance of uh having tools to fulfill the recommendation because uh, the, i i don't know if you are aware but but in 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 uh, sweden uh, it was the truth commission for the tornadalians and and, and uh the report was adopted but no follow up so so if we have a report with recommendations and just that it will be frustrating for 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 the sami people and would be frustrating for the international community you brought up some really good points, especially about free, prior, informed consent. That, that enlisted and featured up to six times in the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. We know the Sami people are striving for the right of self-determination and all the rights enshrined in the UN DRIP. And the country visit by the rapporteur does provide that opportunity to organize to achieve the articles of the UN DRIP. And your recommendations definitely looked at that. Could you share some of the initial steps that you believe should be taken in both countries to then begin the path to really achieve reconciliation? Uh, well, yes. The, 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 the transitional justice process must be holistic. So you cannot pick just one issue and uh, erase the other. So it's not seeking the truth, it's not memorialization, it's not reparations, it's not justice, it's all, it's all the package, it's not all the package. One concern some Sami people expressed to me is we don't want apologies if it's just an apology. So, and 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 that is that is important. And and in terms of memorialization, for instance, the boarding schools are not uh, memory sites. So so the, there is not one plaque. There is no one mark saying okay. Be, be, and and the, and the policy of assimilation was brutal. Was really brutal. So so. Um, uh, I guess uh, 
we need a holistic approach and the SAMI parliament must be involved, involved in very active way uh, uh, in the process. Because um, for the success of a process of transitional justice, you need uh, a, a victim-centered approach. If not, the process will, will, will fail. No, that's really important as you definitely were on the front lines meeting with directly impacted people. That absolutely is the core of the human rights framework going forward. Can you also share some of the other important issues that the Sami people shared with you? Well, yes, they, 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 they are, they are uh, really concerned uh, about uh, the, the development of uh, industries uh in the area especially for the for the um, um the rain hoarder you know the, 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 the that, that because the way of life you you have part of the sami are are nomads no are nomads and 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 and, uh, and it's is is a problem for them uh if the ecosystem is is targeted uh uh, and uh, and they express uh, they express the, that and and also other uh, Sami people uh, have concerns about the licenses for hunting and fishing because it is is a way the way of life no the, of 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 the of the of the people but but especially the the main concern is um, not having a voice respected and and uh, and and uh, and, uh, and listened, even if uh, there are some progresses. Uh, for instance, in Sweden, uh, the, the Sami are recognized as a indigenous people according to the the, the constitution, and uh, there are some progress in legislation, but, uh, but very 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 slow. It's, it's a it's the first step. And is in in an ambience uh, very electric because the, the 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 discriminatory speech and the hate speech and and in some newspapers uh, uh, write issues that they are totally lies. But 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 the saying the well the the, the Sami people have a. Uh, too much power and it's against the development of of the country uh it is is a problem because because uh, they they try to put sami people as enemies and 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 and, and that is a problem no i remember visiting there as well it was it was shocking to hear uh that in Norway, Sweden, Finland, the racism towards the Sami people, and also on the most basic aspects, is they brought some very important cases around fishing rights, but also around reindeer herding as well that you shared. Exactly. So both are, are absolutely crucial. One thing I did want to look at, as I really appreciate your work as a rapporteur, is also the exciting work that you do as an author. And I think probably one of the reasons that also it was important to nominate you for this role is also Argentina's important role. And many people are familiar with the film 1985, but maybe you could share a bit about, you know, what it's like growing up in Argentina and how that also shaped your perspective in this important role as rapporteur. Well, yes, Argentina was a unique example uh, in, 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 in this area because the, the, Especially the trials and and the, the prosecution of of the perpetrators was unique, no, a unique e example, uh, and um, and a guide for for the development of the of the international criminal law, no. And now we have well the Rome Statute and and and, uh, uh, and all, all all that, and also in in um, memory, uh, Argentina is is. I guess uh, a good, a good example, a good example. Uh, but uh, there, are, there are good examples in in different countries, and and in particular topics, not in all, but in particular topics. For instance, the the the, um, 
the truth commission of colombia was was great was great so i visited the country and and it was great in terms of uh, um justice uh, i visited the balkans also and um, not bad no the the job okay the the, the international uh, tribunals but also the the residual mechanisms inside of 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 the countries on the, in the balkanic peninsula uh, was uh, was uh, really uh, uh, is really in, in interesting and in in terms of reparations for instance the the psychosocial program in, in chile is is a very good is a very good uh, uh, example so Transitional justice is is complex. It's is really complex. And but they are good examples. The, for me and, and my message for all governments is the following. Uh, this is not political will. These are state obligations, state duties. And the political will is to fulfill the obligation. But these clear international duties according international human rights law. Uh, because uh, it's, it's impossible the reconciliation without really justice, reparations, and truth. Very important lessons and inspiring to see those really those lessons, the words of wisdom to see where we can do that around the world. Could you share briefly as well uh, other small examples where you see truth, reconciliation, transitional justice making that important step towards really social justice for all? Well, uh, you know, in the inter-American system, uh, after some... Um, um, uh, judgments of the Inter-American Court of, of Human Rights, the, the, the apologies presented in, in, in some cases were really relevant. And today, today, uh, it was an apology in, in, uh, in one case uh, against uh, Guatemala, in the, in the, in the case uh, Velis Franco, and, 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 and it's important for victims and it's important for the community. Really important and many lessons I think we can learn here in Hawaii as well so that we can have a better future that's rooted in fundamental freedoms and also rights for all. Thank you so much, Fabian, for the work that you've done for the decades and the important work that you do as a professor as well, but also in these exciting roles as special rapporteur and with the UN Human Rights Treaty Bodies. Mahalo. Mahalo, my, my great pleasures have been with you. All the best. Aloha. liked this show, why don't you give us a like or subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much.